Hi Adam again. One thing I really should have told you about RocketDoc is about how you get applications referenced on the actual RocketDoc itself. Um, you know, you need the icon on the RocketDoc bar. Unfortunately, RocketDoc doesn't go and trawl through your laptop to find all the applications and place them on the bar. That would be a bit too much, really. You'd end up with so many uh, small applications you'd never use crowding your bar up too much and get a lot of congestion. So I'm going to show you two different ways of setting up your bar. So let me just show you the bar again. At the very top I've got all these icons. They didn't get there by chance. I've put them there. I'm going to show you first of all the simplest way of doing it. Uh, on my bar at the moment you'll see I have no reference to Chrome, uh, my browser. I do have it down here on my Windows 10. I've got my Chrome browser there but I don't have it on my bar at the top. So I'm now going to place the Chrome browser there. Where I choose it is up to me. So I'm going to bring open, first of all, Windows Explorer. I'm going to go to my desktop here. I'm going to type in uh, a C drive here, C colon, and bring open the C drive. And you can see straight away, over here I've got my program files on my program files x86. So I'm going to take that x86 folder and open it up. And again, I get a list of all my different applications running on this machine, one of which will be Chrome, but it's not actually listed on the Chrome, it's listed on the Google. OK, so I'll go to Google, and then I can see Chrome as one of my applications that's part of my Google package. So I'll double click on Chrome, and there's the application folder. I'll open up the application folder, and the actual application is Chrome EXE, the executable. So I'm going to drag that, click and drag that. I'm not, get, not getting rid of it, I'm just dragging it across the screen and I'm going to place it on the bar at the top. I'm going to place it just there and now I've got, and close this down, and I've got Google Chrome on there. If I click on that, Google Chrome comes open straight away. So that's probably the easiest way of doing it. Let me just get rid of the Chrome again. I'll just drag it off the bar to get rid of it so it's gone now. This time I'm going to go to the bar and I'm going to place my um, mouse pointer just between two different icons, hit the right hand mouse button and say add an item. And this time I'm going to add an item, a file item. So it's a file on my PC basically. I'll click on that and it brings open my PC again. I'm going to go for the C drive, C colon. I'm going to go into my program x86 files again, program files x86, double click on that. Scroll down till I find Google, wherever it is, oh, it's up there, Google, find Chrome, find the application, and there's my little application. I click on that, hold it, and just say open. And if I go back to my bar at the top, it's now in place. Now, of course, I don't have to leave it there. I can move it wherever I like. I can move this icon wherever I like. Usually the ones to the left of the bar are the ones you use most often, so I'm going to put it back up there now. And that's it adding an item to Rocket Dock.